Have you ever tried to host a simple HTML page on your Pelican static website only to hit a wall? It can be really frustrating, right? If that's you, stick around because today we are going to solve this issue together. I totally get it. You want to add a raw HTML file, like a Google site verification file, to your Pelican site, but it just doesn't seem to work. You're not alone in this struggle. Many users face similar challenges when working with static site generators. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, is there a way in Pelican to pass in just a raw HTML page? They mentioned trying to place a Google site verification HTML file in the root directory, but ran into issues. Sound familiar? Let's dive into this. So what's the deal? Pelican is designed to work with content files like Markdown or restructured text, which means raw HTML files can be tricky. Understanding how Pelican processes these files will help us find a solution. And don't go anywhere. I have a great workaround for you at the end that will make this process a breeze. To host a raw HTML page in a Pelican static website, the user should start by placing the HTML file directly in the output directory. This ensures that it will be served correctly. Next, the user needs to configure Pelican to recognize this file. They can do this by modifying the Pelican settings file, typically named pelicanconf.py. After updating the settings, the user should ensure that the HTML file is included in the build process. This can be done by adding the file to the content directory. Finally, the user can build the site again using Pelican. This will ensure that the HTML file is copied to the output directory and is accessible from the root. Fun fact, did you know that static site generators like Pelican can help you build a website faster than a cheetah on roller skates? Okay, maybe not that fast, but you get the idea. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution shared by another user involves modifying the Pelican configuration file, pelicanconf.py. They suggest adding a static site based on your HTML file located in the content directory. This setup allows you to access your HTML page directly at the URL's low-cost left page name.html. This method effectively hosts raw HTML files in your Pelican static website. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. One alternative solution for hosting raw HTML pages in a Pelican static website is to manually add the verification file when you push your generated content. Alternatively, you can include a meta tag in your site template for Google Site Verification. For embedding HTML into your Pelican site, consider using restructured text instead of Markdown. This allows you to import HTML directly into your content. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always double check your configuration settings after making changes. This can save you a lot of headaches down the line. And there you have it. You should now be able to host raw HTML pages in your Pelican static website. Remember, experimenting with your setup is key. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video where we dive deeper into Pelican's features.